The second generation of the Soyuz spacecraft, the Soyuz Ferry or Soyuz 7KT, comprised Soyuz 12 through Soyuz 40 In the wake of the Soyuz 11 tragedy, the spacecraft was redesigned to accommodate two cosmonauts who would wear pressure suits at all times during launch, docking, undocking, and re-entry. The place of the third cosmonaut was taken by extra life support systems. Finally, the 7KT, being intended purely as a space station ferry, had no solar panels, instead sporting two large whip antennas in their place. As a result, it relied on batteries which only provided enough power for two days of standalone flight. The idea was that the Soyuz would recharge while docked with a Salyut space station, but in the event of a docking or other mission failure which ended up happening on several occasions, the crew was forced to power off everything except communications and life support systems until they could re-enter. Two test flights of the 7KT were conducted prior to committing the redesigned Soyuz to a manned mission. Cosmos 496 was launched on June 26, 1972 and spent a week in space, part of it in powered-down mode. Then on September 2, an attempted launch of a Zenit reconnaissance satellite failed to orbit due to a malfunction of the vernier engines on the Block A stage. The existing stock of Soyuz boosters had to be modified to prevent a recurrence of this failure mode on a manned mission, which delayed the next test until almost a year later when Cosmos 573 launched on June 15, 1973 and spent two days in space. With this done, the way was cleared for the first manned test, Soyuz 12, in September. In addition, the standalone flights of Soyuz 13, Soyuz 16, Soyuz 19, and Soyuz 22 used a variant of the 7KT with solar panels, and in the case of 13 and 22, special camera apparatus in place of the docking mechanism. A large Orion 2 astrophysical camera for imaging the sky and Earth were used on the former and an MKF-6 Zeiss camera on the latter. Another modification was the Soyuz 7KT, A9 used for the flights to the military Almaz space station. This featured the ability to remote control the space station and a new parachute system and other still classified and unknown changes. Missions <laughs> 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 Soyuz 15 Soyuz 17 Soyuz 18A Soyuz 18 Soyuz 21 Soyuz 23 Soyuz 24 Soyuz 25 Soyuz 26 Soyuz 27 Soyuz 28 Soyuz 29 Soyuz 30 Soyuz 31 Soyuz 32 Soyuz 33 Soyuz 34 Soyuz 35 Soyuz 36 Soyuz 37 Soyuz 38 Soyuz 39 Soyuz 40 Topic <inaudible> Unmanned Tests Cosmos 496 
Cosmos 573 Cosmos 613 Cosmos 656 Soyuz 20 Topic External links Russia New Russian spaceship will be able to fly to Moon, Space Corp. Mir Hardware Heritage David S.F. Portry, Mir Hardware Heritage, NASA RP 1357, 1995 Mir Hardware Heritage Wiki source. Soyuz 7KT and Encyclopedia Astronautica NASA, Russian Soyuz TMA spacecraft details Space Adventures Circum Lunar Mission, details <laughs>